Another patrol heading down to the lower city, eh? Hey? Well, good luck. I've heard it's pretty rough down there. There's a big swoop gang war going on, you know. You better watch yourself. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. It's too bad we don't have the manpower just to sweep those slums clean. Dumpa kunpa yeya moka pata. Bona night kachu. Yin kin kuno ba muli rachi kun. Tong na bun sha nyun yang. Kaba vol ba mulchi kamana. Ichuta. Yun patisa. Kimba ni chaloda kun. Bona, kava tumpa kulpa iya moka paata. Ji yoka ku tumpa kulpa. Go away. Chis can eat you. Kimba muli rat wanna ji. Kimba no ku nixat abog. Kakin cha na wabaka on. Tung abashun ni chun chi. Kipona. Kava tumpa ku pa yiya moka pa ata. Chi yoka ku tumpa ku pa yiya. One. Oska. Chis can eat you. The hupa botenya go jiji piti. Kipona. Kava tumpa ku pailea muka pata. Jiyoka ku tumpa ku pailea. Two. Jiyoka ku. Kimba muli rad wana ji. Ku yami juski chika nai. Kupa baska dwana chichopa muska. Jiska da soki kupa bona na chachu. Tune pudu. Rananu prata dunko shirkasha. Tum na apike. Three. Go away. <laughs> One. Kikua, kikua. 
to. Smart. Huh? What? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Look at them waggle those head tails. I don't normally go for these alien girls, but I've had some bad experiences with my own species lately. Maybe it's time for a change. Know what I mean? You're here about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done. I can't let her get away with what she did. That wench tried to cut me with her vibro blade. Because she's crazy. She started screaming that I was making advances, and the next thing I know she's coming at me with a knife. Yeah, right. Sounds to me like she was defending herself. I admit I was drunk. Maybe I got a little fresh. But it was no big deal. She didn't have to cut me. What? I can't do that. Think how it would look. I work for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't let her get away with this. There has to be payback. Although, I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good-looking gal. It'd be a shame to kill her. Tell you what, I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting the bounty. If I let her get away with it, I'll look even worse. She's got to pay, either with her life or 200 credits to buy my forgiveness. Don't worry, I'll stick to my end of the bargain. I'll go tell Zax right now that the bounty is off the table. you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. Who you calling little girl, Chuba Face? Just a sec, boys. Sawbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. <laughs> Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Hey, relax, Big Z. No need to be rude. Sorry about that. But Wookiees ain't much for conversation, you know? Say, I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic, they just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sorta of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... We just kind of fell in together. 
It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate, but I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operations, the Ebon Hawk. I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course, this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there, except the people working for Davik and the Exchange. Kalo Nord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridian Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time, way beneath a bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure kalo has been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. You going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. Listen to me, people. There is a terrible scourge sweeping.
You're back. Did you did you manage to get Holden to withdraw the price on my head? He, he called the bounty off? That's wonderful. I only wish I had something to give you as a reward. Wait a minute, I know. I don't have many credits, but there is something I can give you. It's a family heirloom. It's not much, but it's something. I can never truly repay you for helping me, but you'll always have my thanks for what you did.